you had one of the biggest plays of the day. Um, can you talk a little bit about what, what happened on that play? You guys fooled the defense a lot. Yeah, it was a fun play. Uh, we had it in last year, never ran it. Um, finally got to run it. Of course, Fernando does it pretty well. Ran it last year and practiced a lot. Finally worked. We saw I saw a safety blitz too, making for a second. And then I knew that that whole gap was going to be open because the safety was gone. He vacated it. And then uh, Tobias threw an awesome block at the end on the goal line. Held it for about five seconds and I just ran in. It was pretty much all Tobias and Fernando there. Have you seen a little bit more physicality out of the blocking from the receivers this, this count? Yeah, it's awesome. I really love our receiver core that we have right now. Everyone's, uh, it's a comp it's really competitive. I think we have about nine players that can play. I mean, more more than nine, but nine players I really like, which is crazy because last year it was it was lower. Tight ends, I think everyone in the room is awesome too. But uh, really competitive. Everyone's giving it their best shot and, and holding blocks longer and making those contested catches, and our offense is really fired up. You and Corey have very different frames and skill sets. Can you talk about how you play off each other? Yeah, Corey's been uh, teaching me a lot about receiver stuff, and I've been trying to teach him what I can for receiver stuff as well, stems and uh, other stuff like that. Really excited to get in with him in like a 12 personnel. We haven't got there yet because we're still kind of working on our 12 with him a little bit. It's, it's a lot to learn, but I'm really excited to get in there with him, him being like a receiving threat, and then me being I can block and then also like you know get some rece receiving stuff as well and Corey could also block as well so not throwing him out there seems like it's been a little bit chippier this fall than past years true yeah um well i've been talking to a lot of the the guys that have came here to cal and i was asking them about their leadership and i think uh, a bunch of us were asking them about their leadership and one of the biggest things i heard was how chippy it was for them back when you know we were going we were winning with Pulaski and all that um so I asked them, and they said they were fighting every practice. And so I, I like the physicality, and I like all of it. And I'm not saying that I did anything to start all the fights. It's just been <laughs> chippy. That's just the way it is. We're both super competitive right now, which is going to turn out great for us when the season actually starts. We're just going to be, we're going to be uh, feeding off each other. The offense feeding off the defense. Def defense feeding off the offense. We're playing as a team, and I like the little little fights that go on. I just hope like the third person that comes to intervene doesn't have to throw a kill shot. You know, they'll break up. So you talked to some guys from the 91 team? Yep. And they said it was sort of like that? Yeah, yeah. Pulaski told me in the stretch lines they'd be chipping back and forth at each other and, and kind of spoke to me a little bit that I was like, yeah, we should definitely start firing it up a little bit more. And and it's becoming, I mean, it's just, it looks great out there, you know, can't complain. So it's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. You talked about in the, the spring how you were a willing blocker last year and did pretty well, but that you kind of got knocked around a little bit and that you're stronger coming into this season. Are you feeling that this camp? Yeah, I am. I'm uh, about one pound away from my goal. Feeling pretty good about my inline block in, but you know, it's all technique. Uh, I could always work on my technique. You're, even if I'm 245 and I'm blocking these guys, I can still get thrown on the ground. It's not, there's 30 pounds heavier than me no matter what. So it's all about technique, and I'm really trying to work with Coach Safel on that and all the other tight ends are helping me out, giving, their, giving me their advice. So I'm working on my technique, and it's turning a lot better so far. I just want to get more pancakes. Obviously, you had your touchdown, and obviously that was something you mentioned. It's different, working more than the spring. What are some other areas where you've seen development with the offense over the course of you know, camp and you know, looking back on the spring and summer? Yeah, so uh, one thing I've really seen our offense develop was our team bonding. We've been doing a lot of team bonding. We went up to the pool after practice one day in uh, the summer workouts. Another day we went camping, so that was awesome. We spent overnight at a little place somewhere over there. But it was really fun seeing the whole team, all the offense show out there. We had a barbecue. We had some tents set up. You can't fire all that, and that's just the team bonding that we didn't really have last year. So really excited, and I can see us like on the same page everywhere here, and in the huddle we're all fired up. So I think it's all paying off. Do you sense a different kind of sense of urgency in camp this year than maybe past years? Yeah, I think um, I just think everywhere's more competitive. So I think the urgency there is everyone wants to, you know, really be on their their blocks, really be on their routes correctly, and not mess up. So I think everyone is like. No one's really a defined starter, except for maybe Jaden. Um, but yeah, everyone's just trying to be perfect. So I feel, I feel that. Last year's offense scored seven points per game more than the previous years, but this group seems to be a whole lot more explosive than last year. Is that fair to say? Yeah, definitely. I think we're working on our explosive plays much more as well. And I think we've been hitting them a lot. But I'm really excited. Last year's just the start of it, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see the improvement. What do you feel like Coach Blush bling, brings to the OC position? He's been feeding the tight ends a lot. I mean, I think today we had 
in seven on seven and team combined, I think the tight ends might have had five touchdowns. That's not something we really had last year. We still had it, but you know, not like the numbers right there. And and I love the play call, and it's it's aggressive. It's it's just perfect play call. And like a third and six, we'll run the ball. I'm not scared to run the ball, and that's awesome because we gash him. Uh, not afraid to pass the ball on on first down. Not afraid to take a shot. So really excited with, with him. Is part of that increased usage of the tight ends, um, him taking a look at what the defense is lining up and, and finding mismatches? I think so, but I think it's more of him just having a faith in us to win no matter what the coverage is. Um, I think we're a position group that is really detailed and we'll try and find the right coverage and do it right and run the correct route. So um, Mike's a guy who comes to the position not having played it before, but a student of the game. What does he bring to the tight end room? Uh, he just learned, he picks it up so quickly. Uh, I think he's already a, an advanced tight end coach with his route running teachings and especially his blocking. Obviously, he's a great blocker and, and just a great leader as well. I definitely see him becoming a head coach very soon or, or you know one day in the future. He's definitely that type of guy that I could just look at him and be like, after look at him teaching and just go, yeah, he'll be somewhere one day. Jaden talked about you know some of the talent that you guys added on the outside and how that can help maybe open things up for him. How does it help you to have some of those playmakers and those new guys on the outside? Well, I mean, I mean, like like we saw on the touchdown today, I had Tobias blocking right there. That was awesome. He took his guy all the way down to the end zone. I think it was 30 yards. Took him all the way down to the end zone. End zone just held him there. That's one thing. I think we're spreading the field out more. Um, I mean, we're calling shots, so they're running deep. They're they're running the correct routes. They're blocking so well. We could start running like we could run bubbles and run you know screens to the backs and all of that. Um, it's just a whole new position group, and I love it. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Awesome.